Alléluia. You alone, you are the God of all of me. You alone, you are exalted. You, you alone, you are the God of all flesh. You alone, you are my King. Bless you, Lord Jesus. We thank you. For indeed you are alone. You alone, you are the God of all flesh. Indeed you alone, you are exalted. Indeed you alone, you are my King. I bless you. I honor you for all that you do. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your mercies upon our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we bless the name of God. Hallelujah. So today the word that the Lord has given unto us is belief. There shall be a performance. Believe there shall be a performance. Hallelujah. So the word of God, again, is believe there shall be a performance. Hallelujah. Let me help my brother. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord help us. Amen. So believe there shall be a performance. So we're going to read from the book of Luke. Chapter 1. Luke chapter 1. Hallelujah. So Luke chapter 1, you can read from your Bible. So Luke chapter 1, we're going to start with verse 40. Luke chapter 1, starting from verse 40. And entered into the house. I'm sorry, verse 39, verse 39. Verse 30. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste mm -hmm. into a city of Judah. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into a city of Judah. Continue. Verse 40. Mm -hmm. And entered into the house of Zacharias. And, and she entered into the house of Zachariah. And saluted Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary. And it came to pass when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary. The babe leaped in her womb. Mm -hmm. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. 
And she spake out with a loud voice mm -hmm. and said, mm. Blessed art thou among women. Now, now you got to put it in the context first. Before she spoke, she didn't speak because she was like uh, emotionally happy to see her, how we call it, uh, a cousin. No. The Bible said before she ever opened her mouth, she first was filled, hallelujah, with the Holy Ghost. So what she was saying was a clear prophecy coming directly, uh, a, an utterance coming from God. Hallelujah. So the law was uh, giving an oracle to establish what is in Mary. So go ahead. Verse 45. Verse 45. Mm -hmm. And blessed is she mm -hmm. that believed for there shall And blessed... Is what is she? Is she that, that believeth? That believeth, uh huh. For there shall be a performance. For there shall be a performance of a performance of those things of those things which were told her from the Lord. Hmm. Hallelujah! You know, I oftentimes say that you have to read the Word of God often time backward. So if we take that verse. I'm going to start with the last line. So, where is that? What was taught to you from the Lord, so as I say, I start from the last line, will have a performance when you believe. Hallelujah. Blessed is she who believe the word of God, for there shall be a performance as the Lord has spoken. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, the performance of God in this instance here is eventually the fulfillment, the accomplishment of the word and the promises of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. You see, many people, they are content with the little. And they never expect God to take them to any level. <clears throat> Hallelujah. But the word of God tells us in the word, it says, I wish that you prosper, you advance, you go further, even as your soul prosper. But you see, in the case of Mary, it was not just that she received the word of God. And it was not just that she was blessed. It was not just that she knew the Lord. But she believed that report. Hallelujah. When the word of God came unto her through Gabriel, she said, let it be done unto me as you have spoken. And if you look at that phrase, she is not uttering just a formula, but she's deep inside Availing, uh, availing herself for the performance of the word of God. So Elizabeth sees Mary. When she sees Mary, she is touched with the Holy Ghost. And she professes by saying, you are blessed because you have believed. You remember the Lord Jesus said in the... The Beatitudes, he said, bless are those. Amen? He oftentimes say, bless are those. Bless are those. He tells to a disciple, I think it's Matthew chapter 3 or 5. Bless are those. Hallelujah. Let, let, let's read it. The book of Matthew chapter 5. Go ahead from verse 1. Matthew chapter 5, starting mm -hmm. from verse 1. Mm -hmm. And seeing the multitude, and seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. He went up into a mountain. And when he was set, and when he was set, his disciples came unto his him. His disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth. And he opened his mouth. And taught them, saying, and taught them, saying, Blessed. Blessed are the poor in spirit, mm -hmm. for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Uh -huh. Blessed are they that mourn, mm -hmm. for they shall be comforted. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the meek, 
for they shall inherit the earth. Mm -hmm. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst mm -hmm. after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the pure in heart, mm -hmm. for they shall see God. Mm. Blessed are the peacemakers, mm -hmm. for they shall be called the children of God. Mm -hmm. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness. Seek. Seek. Mm -hmm. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. Blessed are he when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Hallelujah. Verse 12, go ahead. Verse 12. Rejoice mm. and be exceeding glad. Rejoice and be exceeding glad. For great mm. is your reward in heaven. Hallelujah. For so persecuted they the prophet which were before you. Ah, hallelujah. Amen. Now, let, let, I, I want to break down this one a little bit. The Lord is not saying you will not see the benefit of your soul on this side earth. But he's saying... If you know how to see the benefit of your soul in heaven, you will not be distraught or distressed on earth. He said, be anxious of or something. Be anxious of something. Be anxious of nothing. It's not even a, a proposal. Is a command to our soul to be at peace. Be anxious of nothing. But in everything, let your petitions be made known unto God, who is the rewarder of those who seek him diligently. So in the performance of your faith, it is a diligence, it is a continuity, it is the, uh, the pressure to believe that it shall be a performance. Now this does not mean you will not feel sometimes questions on how this is going to be. It does not mean you will not feel sometimes questions on how and when this is going to happen. But you must remain believing until you see it. But the things that made Mary believe was the word of God. She said, blessed is she who has believed the word. You know, the difficulty is not that you don't love Christ. The difficulty is that do you believe what he says? Hallelujah. Now notice, Mary has experienced for herself The angel. Amen. She had a divine encounter. Hallelujah. But somebody has to tell her how things will be performed in her life. That she was blessed because she has believed the encounter that she has had. Hallelujah. You see, the confirmation of God's word into your life as he speaketh to you privately, he uses somebody outside of your private circle or your private room in order to speak what he has said unto you. Are you what I'm saying? She was alone. Nobody was there when God spoke unto her through Gabriel. Hallelujah. But when she came out, The, as, the, 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 as the certainty of the word of God in her life was confirmed by the spirit of God through Elizabeth. Uh, are you following me? And this is because she believed. Believe the word of God. Now, let me tell you this. How do you know you believe? Well, in the case of Mary, we have two elements to know that you believe. The first one is that you are, you, you are suddenly taken with 
a desire that is burning in you. That's the pregnancy. Hallelujah. Because as soon as she heard that she believed, it did not happen then, next year by then. No. Instantly, there was a burning desire. She knew, ah, I'm pregnant. I know there is something that came from the heaven and penetrated my soul and burdened my soul into the point that that desire just cannot go. That's the first element of to know that you believe. The second element is that the spirit of God through somebody we utter the things he has told unto you in the secret. <laughs> the second element of knowing that you have believed is that the spirit of God through someone we utter what he told you in the secret. By then, you will produce, you will perform the word that you have believed. Does it make sense? She heard from Gabriel. And then because she believed, she got pregnant. And because she believed, the spirit of God spoke through somebody. And because she believed, there was a performance of what she believed. So the third is it ought to be evident. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, remember God is able to create a man in one second, okay? Or will I say one day? He made, who is his name? Adam. Hallelujah. Adam did not come from uh, the belly of somebody. So he is able. But what he's teaching us is that whether it comes suddenly or whether it comes progressively, it is your belief into what you have heard that make it happen. Because the word of God says, it was him who has spoken to her. But this, you know, sometimes people say, if this is for me, we happen. And they see they do nothing. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I wonder why it's not happening. Because she believed it shall be a performance and she... And she, 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 she received that pregnancy and she, she take, took care of that pregnancy until the day of delivery. How do you take care of the word of God that you have heard concerning your life, your promises? How do you nurture it? That's what I'm saying. She was not just pregnant and sleeping on the bed and then when baby was about to arrive, she's, a, she's a <laughs> Hallelujah. She took care of that pregnancy. How do you take care of the word that God has spoken over your life? One, you know you believe when you have suddenly received that divine desire that is burdening your soul. You know, if somebody tells you, you're going to have tomorrow $1 million. You'll be like, yeah, amen. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Remember the story of uh, Israel when the prophet went and he told them when there was the four leper, I believe, and they were, you know, at the gates and the enemy, they finally went to the enemy. They arrived, they saw a spoil. But prior to that, the prophet said that the next day, that for a barley, bar barley, or whatever, barley, it would be just a penny out of it, a, a little shekel. So the, the, the Bible said that the guy who was inside the house of the king, he heard it. And he said, but this one, even if God has to open the window of heaven, but he did not understand God did not need to open the window of heaven because he has already put it on the floor. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? You see, by the time the man of God was speaking, the provision was already there. Hallelujah. By second Kings, thank you. By the man, I said by the man, by the time that God has spoken through that man, to that man of God, the provision was already there.
But for you to have your hands on that provision, you have to believe things that, which does not make sense because it comes from the heavenly. Mary, you will be found with child. You know, we today read the word and we kind of like a taking, you know, we take it because we read it so lightly. You standing and the angel come and he says, your name. And he says, you know you are not married yet. You are only betrothed. And you know you have kept yourself in purity for all these years. You know what I'm saying? You have remained virgin. And then an angel come and tells you you're going to be pregnant. But you're going to be pregnant without a man. <laughs> I, I don't know. If if I was there, I would be like a Zachariah. Excuse me. Uh, but this one. <laughs> no. The reason why she was able to believe such 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 a thing which did not make sense in the physical is because she has devoted a heart to the Lord. That's what I'm saying. Blessed are the pure in heart. In all the word of God said they shall see God, and we add unto it they shall see the manifestation of the promises of God. Because the purity of your heart does not doubt that I don't know how it's going to happen, but I will believe until I possess it in my hand. Do you believe? Or do you only hope? Believe makes you have that burning desire, I must do this one. You know, I, I was having a, uh, I was having a, uh, a meeting, a training. And then one of the lady, she said, everybody here, my honest people, if you are here today, just let me know how many times you were afraid, you were fearful that you will not achieve your goal. And in the entire meeting, everybody, everybody, so that was 99% 99%.99. And I didn't lift my hand. And she said, be real to me. You don't have to lie to yourself. Like you got to be real. You got to be truthful. I said, okay. But the reality is that I never had no fear that I will not succeed. Because the day when the Lord spoke to me, I believed. It's rather, ah, I'm going to go there, which, which means that I'm looking forward in order to fulfill what he said. So I have in my soul no fear that it will be done. And I realized one thing, that she was not speaking because this was impossible. She was speaking because she was carnal. You see what I'm saying? So in a carnal mind, in a carnal way, faith should be fearful. And then I posted, a, 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 I gave my a re a response, and then I said, actually, I never had a fear in my spirit, nowhere, that I will not succeed. Because I can definitely utilize the strength of God to help me carry on. Now you are in a business meeting and you quote the Bible there. <laughs> Hallelujah. And there was a lady who was somewhere around. She said, amen to that. <laughs> but she was among the ones who were fearful. <laughs> So the end is that when you believe, there is first that strong desire. It's not a, 
let me explain the difference with, between that desire and the desire of your flesh. The desire of your flesh is that within a few weeks or within a few days, it goes up, it goes down. Hallelujah. That's coming out of you. But when it comes from above and goes inside, the Bible says now it gives you the will to do his will. Are you what I'm saying? Let me give you a deck example. Has ever been a woman who was pregnant, who knew that she was pregnant and she thought she was not pregnant? I, I don't know. I, I have a hazard this, like, you are pregnant. You did a test, you are pregnant. Your belly is growing. And then above four, six months, you think you are not pregnant. Like, is, that, is, that, is that possible? I don't know. Because I'm not a woman. <laughs> If you do think you are not pregnant, then you, ha- you, 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 you need to go back to hospital, the, the psychiatric hospital, because something is off. Because the pregnancy that is inside, people cannot feel it. Only you know inside what is going on. Am I right? When baby is running around, you know inside what is going on. You can explain People will not see exactly what you're saying because you know what is going on inside. You know, sometimes, sometimes people say, you say, I don't know. I have something that like in my, in, in my, in my arm that, that, that is like coming inside and all in my body. And I'm thinking, ah, how did that happen? <laughs> they say, I have something, I don't, I don't know. It just go all through my body. It, it goes down all the way down and it come out. But in reality, there are things that you experience that even if you explain to people, they cannot understand. That's the desire that God and pregnant eh, put in you to believe. That desire. Hallelujah. He said one time, hey, that you are wealth. Manufacturer. That day, whenever I speak with people, I cannot see myself behind. It is impossible. Because in your mindset, you only see see what is said that will happen and everything that you do, you nurture it because you are going towards that goal. So you are purposely putting and nurturing the word that you have received to see the performance of what you have believed. You are nurturing it. If you nurture something and then you say, ah, is that even going to work? The Bible says you're going to have nothing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Because what you're even doing right there is a sin. Why? Everything you do without faith is a sin. So you ain't going to go nowhere. So, but you have to remember did how, and how did God spoke to you and that desire came because you were expecting to hear from him. And as you hear from him, it depends inside of you that strong desire that even when people are telling you the contrary, that's even when you are. Let me get, I will take an example. There is a man, his name is called Trump. That guy, he believes that uh, he was chosen to do something. And then when he was alone in his business, Nobody bother him. Are you know what I'm saying? He was there doing his own thing for years. And one day, he decided to become president. That day, the same people who were eating with him, that same day, you yourself, you don't understand. You're like, you're like what did he do exactly? 
They say, no, he's a, a so so and so, he's a so so and so. Is that a human who's perfect? And he's not a man of God either. How many men of God are, 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 are president? <laughs> are you know what I'm saying? They, they, they say he's so so and so, but we do see that uh, there is even a transgender who is a secretary of health. So if there are one that is, that is mad, which one that should be normally? But we go with that. But he believed that regardless what they do, he will continue. And they told him, if you want us to leave you alone, just forget about presidency. So when they tell him forget about presidency in his mind, it means that's the sign that you have to press more. You know what I'm saying? That's when you believe. When you believe you have something that you need to bring forth. The more you hear the contrary word, the more you are even strengthened to continue. Because the opposition is a demonstration of your fulfillment in that word that God has spoken to you. You will have somebody by the spirit of God that will identify what God has spoken on you. That's it. Because remember, after she spoke unto Mary, Joseph, the husband, he didn't believe, did he? God is not expecting you to have everybody who will come to you to tell you what. No, no, no. He will take at least one person. By the Spirit of God. To let you know what you have received and what you have heard in your closet. But you must nurture. How do you nurture what God has spoken to you? How do you take care of it? Let me give a clear example. You hear the word of God that says you're going to be a farmer, a great farmer. In a farm, what do you have? Because he's a farmer, can do cow. Amen? If you hear that you're going to be a farmer, you have to start by having a land. Am, am I right? But if you believe you're going to be a farmer, but you don't have a land to do the farming, you are not nurturing the word that you have received. God will say, you're going to be married. But your character is like a... <laughs> eh? Seeking trash. <laughs> but you believe you're going to be married. But if you are not nurturing your character... Even if the husband comes, you will say, Jesus, she's not ready. Please excuse me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, because you got to nurture the word that God has spoken unto you by bringing out of you fruit. Hallelujah. Believing is not only proclaiming. Believing is literally knowing that you have it inside and working towards that goal and working towards that goal. Now, some Joseph, like the Mary husband, even though they are very close, they may not have the vision that you have received. Amen. God is not requiring you to have the same vision that he gave to you, to your spouse. Hallelujah. Or to your friend. But he requires you to keep on nurturing that vision. Now, in the case of Joseph, Mary, she did not try to argue on, no, you know, this one, it was Jesus. Uh, this one is the Holy Ghost. Uh, no. <laughs> he ain't going to go nowhere. 
Because if you argue with an unbeliever, you are a fool. I say argue. Amen. Share the word, exhort, prophesy, comes from God. But you cannot argue with an unbeliever. No, I don't believe God is a... I, I say God is real. I don't believe. I say God is... He ain't going nowhere. So she didn't argue. She said, I know I'm innocent. I did not sleep with a man. I know this pregnancy did not come from somebody else. I know I was also drunk. <laughs> Amen. So I know who I have seen, what I have heard. And what did God do? He took a palabra. Amen. He went, the same angel went in a dream, spoke to him. Hey, don't fear to take Mary for your wife. For this thing is from the Lord. Now, this is the second part of the message. In your guidance, as you are working to perform and to see the performance of the word that you have believed, God will speak to you, one, through somebody by the Spirit, and two, through your dreams. Hallelujah. For that specific one, he will speak to you through somebody and through your dreams. I heard somebody who told me sometimes, the person say, ah, I don't dream. I said, that's not true. That is not true. Tell me rather you don't remember your dreams. Sometimes, you get up and then your mind is blank. But you know that you dream something. Or sometimes you don't remember that you dream when you get up. And as you go about doing something, there is something that happened and that triggers that, oh, I actually dreamed that. So at that time, you did not remember. If that thing did not trigger, you will not either remember. It does not mean you did not dream. So pay attention to your dreams. When God speaketh unto you and you believe the report of God and you nurture the belief and the word that you have received, pay attention to your dreams. And the next one is to pay attention who are the people that God brings your way. Hallelujah. Eventually, among them, you will have a mixed multitude. But by the spirit of discerning, as you ask to the Lord, he will help you discern which of them are the ones who are assigned to you in order to fulfill that word. So it means you have to position yourself to engage with the people that God will send in your path. Believe. Believe. There shall be a performance. Let's read again. Luke chapter 1. Read for me again from verse 39. Luke chapter 1, uh, verse 39. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into a city of Judah. Why did she arose in haste? Why? Why? Desire God I put in her, but something else also. Did the angel tell her that Elizabeth was pregnant? I repeat again. Did the angel tell her 
that Elizabeth was pregnant. What did he say? Verse, verse 36. Mm -hmm. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth. And behold, thy cousin. Thy cousin Elizabeth. Elizabeth she had also conceived. She has also a conceived. A son. Amen. Amen. In her. Old age. In her. Old age. In her. Old age. Hallelujah. Amen. How old was Elizabeth? <laughs> old. Amen. How old was a Sarah? 90. 90 years old. There is a lady in Nigeria who was, I believe, 79 or 80. She had waited for a child with her husband. Prayed for a child with the husband until she was 80 years old in Nigeria. Igbo state. Is that Igbo state of say Igbo? Igbo people. Mm, eh? How we say that? Akwaibom. Akwaibob. Okay. <laughs> and at 80 years old, she saw a women cycle coming. Now, I haven't been whole, so I don't know how it works. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> but what I do know is that she believed that it shall be a performance. And God did not visit her when she was 40. God did not visit her when she was 30. But she didn't drop that belief. Hallelujah. She held that belief until one day she's coughing. <coughs> she's pewing. <coughs> and then she goes to the hospital. The doctor has screamed. You are pregnant. <laughs> Can you imagine? You go see a doctor because you don't feel good. And the doctor is, is, is like a, I would say that. Shock. So people went there. And it became a news of her and the husband, and she was holding a baby. You explain it. In the physical, explain it. People have spent their time, they said, no, you know, when a woman is in a monopause, and so, so, and so, it did, 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 did. but you explain to me, Ah, a 80 years old got pregnant and gave birth. Believe it shall be a performance of the word that you have believed. If you believe goes slow or goes down as you're aging, then you need to review it again. Because your like the word of God does not age. Does it make sense? The word of God does not age. The word of God fulfills itself in your life, in the life of your children, in the generation after you, because it does not age. Believe, tell to somebody, believe. There shall be a performance. Hmm. You know, some people, they say, I feel the chicken's bump. <laughs> what God has spoken to you privately, when you were calling on him, sometimes you do not even call on him. He just appeared. <laughs> he said, this one, I'm going to do you do this, 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 this. She heard that her cousin was pregnant. I told you earlier, 
that you have to associate with the people that God will put you in order to fulfill your purpose. She went to associate with the one who had carried a pregnancy just as her. And she was, she, she was, she was kind of like a knowledgeable. My cousin is pregnant of how many months? Six. Hallelujah. So she went such of like of serving her, of being with her, to associate with her. But when she arrives in that place, instead of her being amazed, let's read again. Let's read. Verse. Verse 39. No, no. Yeah, verse 30, uh, 30, uh, 38. Verse 38. And Mary. No, no, no. Sorry. Um, 36. Yeah. 36. Uh -huh. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth. She had also conceived a son in her old age, mm. and this is the sixth month with her, who has called who, who was, was who was called barren. Hallelujah. Amen. She was called barren. Barren. Amen. Amen. She was tagged with a specific name because of her condition. And continue. Verse 37, for with God, nothing shall for with be who? possible. With God. Hallelujah. Amen. For with God, what? Nothing shall be impossible. Do you believe that? You know, impossible means I am possible. Do you believe that with God, you will be possible? Hallelujah. With God, you will be possible. Continue. Verse 38. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Ooh. Like you, like right now, it's after I'm, I'm hearing that same word. And to say, Lord, behold, I am your handmaid. You know, let me explain the handmaid, how he sounds. She says, I am the one in your hand that will make it happen. Your handmaid. For your hand to make it happen, I am the one inside that you will mold that thing through me. I am your hand made. Are you the hand made of God? Hallelujah. I am your hands made. However you want to do, it is not without me. It is through me. Because she believed. And she ran and continue. And, and Mary arose in those days mm. and went into the hill country with haste mm. into a city of Judah. Mm. Which is, she went to praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember, Judah means praise. Hallelujah. She went to the hill. You know, the word of God is always, remember, has in sight of the spirit. She went to the hill. In the city of Judah. Hallelujah. When she heard those things, she went up. Hallelujah. She did not go down. Amen. She increased. She, the the mm. things in her life advanced. Her, her spirit was galvanized. Because she believed. When you believe, it's like a, a kerosene that they put in you to get you to take off. She went up to the hill to praise what she heard from God. God speaks to you and you're like, hmm, how is that going to happen? No, go up to the hill and start with your... <laughs> Hallelujah. 
God speaks to you, get in haste, go to the hill, seal the matter before the enemy comes and gives you some kind of doubt. Continue. Verse 40, and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, Oof. the babe leaped in her womb. Hallelujah. Amen. When she heard my salutation. Somebody say, when she heard my salutation. When she heard my salutation. Uh, uh, are you, for, uh, are you, uh, do, you uh, do you understand what I'm, what I'm saying? Your salutation, when you come in a certain place where God is assigning you to shine, when you enter in that place, the person to whom you speak, that person is convinced he must help you. You don't even need to explain to the person what God said. You don't even need to argue to, you're like, you don't need to take what we call your deck pitch, meaning your demonstration of your business plan or your demonstration of your life. No, because God has signed somebody, and as you go there in haste, suddenly. Because inside of you, there is already that performance of God. Now you are the handmaid of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Continue. Verse 41. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, mm. and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Do you understand what it means? You see, before Jesus arrives, somebody had to arrive to prepare the way. All right? So when God is assigning you, in order for you to believe and to perform what he has spoken, he will make somebody else before you to make things prepared. Let me give you a simple example. We were about to start, and then somebody, for the first time, has developed a system that was never developed before. And the day we started, the same day that system released, the same day that system helped us more than anybody else. But before we started, the person was working on it. You know what I'm saying? When God is assigning you, he's making your ways prepared. Somebody else prior you will start putting together the things that you need. Talk about Solomon and David. Solomon was assigned, but David prepares it. Hallelujah. God will attach you with the people that he has already prepared the heart with for in order to fulfill and perform the word that he has spoken to you. That's why when somebody says, I can do it by myself, you know the person has a, a spiritual problem. Because you cannot do it by yourself. Can you? You can't. Even the Lord Jesus Christ, he needed help to be crucified. <laughs> Amen. Because he said, I lay down my life. So he should have just jump on the cross <laughs> and then the nail just coming in his hands. No, he needed help to be crucified. You cannot make it yourself. There are spots that God wants to show you, but you need to hear the word of God or the utterance of what God wants to tell you through somebody by the Spirit. Hallelujah. The babe leap. She was filled with the Holy Ghost. And she said, Blessed are you. Hmm. You know, when you are on uh, social media and some people say, hey, I'm uh, awaiting a child. 
And people come to comment. Oh, this is awesome. This is wonderful. This is it. Many of them, there is no Holy Ghost inside. Hallelujah. What you need to hear is the Spirit of God speaking over your life through the mouthpiece of somebody. Because you have believed the report of the Lord. Remember Ahab and Jehoshaphat. Joseph, I went to see Ahab, and there comes Ahab, who is making plan to go to war. And he's sending and calling all his false prophets. They all come and they prophesy, go. You will win. You will arise. But Joseph, when he heard all those things, by the Spirit of God, he said, but is there not a man of God <laughs> in the land? Hallelujah. Regardless of the voices that you can hear, the voice of God is clear. For my sheep know my voice. You hear it, you know it. Believe there shall be a performance. Continue, please. Verse 42. And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Hallelujah. Amen. You are blessed, and the things that you do are blessed. The things that you have are blessed. The things that you touch are blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Continue. Verse 43, and whence is this to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Hmm. Hallelujah. Elizabeth was old. She was pregnant ahead of time. But she had humility to recognize who could help her also to achieve something. When God wants to help you, he brings you the person he wants, not the person you prefer. Hallelujah. Because if he has to bring you the person, the person you prefer, I don't know. But he will bring you the person he wants. When he wanted to help Daniel, the prophet, he brought the Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. He brought the Bicadonizer. Continue. Verse 43. Mm -hmm. 44. Mm. For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded. <laughs> As soon as the voice of my salutation, salutation sounded in her hearing, as soon as the voice of my salutation, all I'm going to say is greeting. All I'm going to say is good morning. All, oh, Jesus. All you have to say is just to greet. As soon as the voice of my salutation has sounded in my hearing. As soon as that voice coming out of you sounds in the hearing of the one that God has assigned. Hallelujah. She said, verse 44. For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. You know, I would say you cannot force a relationship. 
Somebody say, no, I want to help you. But the person is bizarre. <laughs> Amen. Leave it. Because the Lord will show you who will leap of joy for you. Are you what I'm saying? He will show you who will leap of joy for what God wants to do through you. Continue. Verse 45. And blessed is, that is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Hallelujah. Say, blessed is me who believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told unto me from the Lord. You see, you are already seeing yourself blessed even before to see the performance of it. When you see the performance, we say you are multiplied. But you are blessed because you believed. You are blessed because you trusted the word that God has spoken over you. And you see the performance and just like Abraham, God said, from multiplication, I will multiply you. Mary did not wonder, worry about how she's going to deal with Joseph. Hallelujah. No. All she knew is God said something. I'm going to be the hand made. I'm going to behold myself. I'm going to present myself. I'm going to say, Lord, the way you want to do it, do it without, not without me. Hallelujah. Don't do it without me. However you want to do it, I've, I deliver my, myself in your hands. And from that point, you will tell me who you have assigned in order to make the work with that purpose. And all I will do is to present yourself for it to be a performance of the things that you have believed. The desire that God plants in you, the purpose is for you to nurture it and see it happen. I repeat again. The desires that God plants in you, the purpose is for you to be the good farmer, to see that desire bring fruit. Don't be only a pass through desire. Hallelujah. What it means is that you receive it and then you give to somebody else and then you see broke. <laughs> no, be somebody who. who you, you, you must be the hands that God will utilize to bless someone. Hallelujah. Believe. Believe. There shall be, nor can be, nor will be, shall a performance of the things that you have heard from the Lord. Father, I bless your name. I thank you for all that you do. I honor you, Lord God, for the grace. I honor you, Lord God, for your word. Lord, we do know that when you speak, you speak for it to be performed, to be made, to be completed, to be fulfilled, and to be accomplished. We surrender our thoughts unto you. We bring our thought captive to the knowledge of Christ so that through the knowledge of Christ we may know with certainty the path, the way, and the person, the people
people that you have brought and prepared unto us in order for us, Lord God, to be in your hand, whatever you desire to make and to do upon this earth. We avail ourselves. Behold, do it as you please, for there shall be a performance for the things that we have believed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Amen.